This is the uh, Sandvik uh, R390 insert cutter. I'm cutting some uh, 4140. Actually, this is 1045. Uh, the other piece I cut was 4140. It's pretty hard material, similar to 4140. And um, works pretty nice. It gives at least a pretty nice finish. Uh, it does leave a little bit of an edge burry. You have to kind of peel that off or take a Noga tool to it and just clean it up a little bit. But here's a little sample of how it cuts. And I actually cut this pretty fast. Um, I'm not taking super deep cuts because I'm doing this on the manual mill right now, but I'm using a power feed and I'm running at 2,000 RPM. Um, so I'm, I'm taking a fairly decent depth of cut here. Uh, I just had to straighten this out because I actually uh, set it up and they're a little bit crooked, so I need to change the plane of that a little bit. And that's something you'll see here as we cut that. one-handed so I would have not normally have done that but uh, that's all right so you guys got an example at home you know don't take quite as deep a cuts and make sure you have the right insert on there um, these are for hardened steel these are the the 4240 and uh, you get in there too deep what happened is I got above the the shoulder got above the the cutter insert so uh, that's what tore it up here but um, there's uh, you know, there's what'll happen. I'll come back here with a second uh, video here after I change these out and uh, just show you how it cleaned up. Um, actually, I have one side done already, I'll show you. But uh, it does a, does a pretty clean job. So, you know, I still gotta, like I said, I still gotta hit the edge right there with the Noga tool. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's really smooth, despite you might see some of the fracture lines here. You can't feel them at all. It's really smooth. 
So I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I got a bunch of different inserts to play around with here to see which ones work best. Because this was a, a cutter that was on eBay for $39.99. I probably spent $100 in different inserts for it. Um, so I do actually really like these inserts. You just you don't want to go above the shoulder. I do have a, a different one. Maybe I'll uh, show that one in the next video with the with these inserts. It's I have the uh, the high shoulder helix cutter that has six different inserts in it, and uh, I'm actually pretty excited. That would have been probably a more appropriate tool for this, since I am coming a little bit deeper. Uh, but uh, we'll uh, we'll maybe give that one a try and see what happens here coming up uh, on uh, part two here of uh, finishing up with the Sandvik uh, R390, the eBay special.